your channel my name is Kira and every week I share easy family recipes along with tips and tricks to get your kids eating and enjoying their food so this week I've teamed up with learning resources the award-winning online retailer specializing in educational toys games and learning aids for children as part of their current food education campaign learning resources have produced a fantastic infographic to help kids learn more about growing their own fruit and vegetables at home or at school Using some of our favourite fruit and veg, learning resources will take you through when exactly to plant the seeds, where to plant them and the best time for harvesting, along with lots of facts about how these fruits and veggies can benefit our bodies. Inspired by all this information, I've decided to create a family meal that's not only easy, nutritious, but also super tasty. It's my baked butternut squash risotto. Butternut squash is of course in season at the moment and is widely associated with this harvest time of year. To complement the squash, I'm also adding some fresh thyme. Fresh herbs are a great but easy way to get kids growing their own. At this time of year, I tend to grow them inside, but once the weather warms up, you can create a dedicated herb patch in your garden. Okay, so on with the recipe, and the first thing that you may notice is that this risotto is actually baked. I know this isn't the traditional method, but as a busy mom with a young family, I don't have time to stand on the hob to ladle in the stock and keep stirring for half an hour. So this baked option is a real time saver. So the first step is to prep the butternut squash. So I've got a fresh butternut squash. I'm going to peel it and then chop it into small bite-sized pieces. Then we're going to add those to a baking dish along with some oil, give that a stir and then top with a few sprigs of that fresh thyme. Next we're going to prep the risotto and in a large oven proof dish I'm adding some oil, some chopped onion, chopped garlic, some more of that fresh thyme, risotto rice, a little white wine and some hot vegetable stock. So give that a good stir and then we're going to add both dishes into the oven 200 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. Once ready take both dishes out of the oven we're going to mix in some butter and then some grated parmesan to the risotto, give that a good stir and then we're going to add our cooked butternut squash cubes on top. And there you have it, a delicious warming family meal, absolutely perfect for these cold evenings. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to check out the learning resources infographic to learn more about growing your own at home. And I will leave the link to that in the description box below, along with the full recipe. And I'll see you next time.